commission I will grant. And do you know that the gold, to replace that which my father gave to me and which I have lost, is a worthy ambition I will grant. And do you know that the gold which you have saved can work for you and earn much more gold? Alas, my experience has been bitter, for my father's gold has fled from me, and I am in much fear lest my own do the same. If thou hast confidence in me, I will give thee a lesson in the profitable handling of gold, he replied. Within a year, the outer wall will be complete and ready for the great gates of bronze that will be built at each entrance to protect the city from the king's enemies. In all Nineveh, there is not enough metal to make these gates, and the king has not thought to provide it. Here is my plan. A group of us will pool our gold and send a caravan to the mines of copper and tin, which are distant, and bring to Nineveh the metal for the gates. When the king says, make the great gates, we alone can supply the metal, and a rich price he will pay. If the king will not buy from us, we will yet have the metal which can be sold for a fair price. In his offer, I recognized an opportunity to abide by the third law and invest my savings under the guidance of wise men. Nor was I disappointed. Our pool was a success and my small store of gold was greatly increased by the transaction. In due time, I was accepted as a member of this same group in other ventures. They were men wise in the profitable handling of gold. They talked over each plan presented with great care before mm. entering upon it. Mm. They would take no chance on losing their principal or tying it up in unprofitable investments from which which their gold could not be recovered. That's a good one. I want to start right there.